Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, and beautiful things happening within the Blender Foundation, Blender Community, and also Blender as an app. And this week we have a huge set of stuff which you guys may want to take a look at. Starting off, we're going to talk about Blender 2.90.1 being released this is the first update to the 2.9 series and this one actually comes with a couple of bug fixes so last week when we talked about this we said there were a couple of bug fixes that they were looking forward to and i suggested and highly encouraged you guys that if you have anyone you should put them in and now we have the release one which comes with 39 bug fixes so in case you're having any of these issues you can simply go over to the link in the description and take a look at it and also download the brand new version and play with it now this is available for both steam and also for windows store and finally for snap so in case you have any of those platforms or you're using blender through those platforms you can simply update directly from there next up we're going to talk about some meeting updates so a few days ago i did talk about that there is something called the tuesday talk and now it has actually taken into action because within the last meeting that was held there were a couple of things that was discussed so some of them include the status of individual modules which you can see from here some of them were you know the reviews some were patches that were updated and some follow-ups so in case you want to see some updates or you want to follow up with some of the updates and trendy stuff that is happening with any of this particular module that has to do with blender you can also go over to the link in the description to take a look at that and speaking about things you can take a look at nvidia and blender collaboration has begun so there is now a collaboration that is going on between nvidia and blender for usd and you know the whole beautiful implementation of usd so if you want to see what roles anyone is having so you want to see the role of nvidia you want to see the role of blender team you can also take a look at this and it makes a lot of sense owing to the fact that first time we did see the guys from ubisoft and amd trying to get this thing happening and now we're seeing both nvidia and blender working together based on collaboration to make the usd way more stable and useful for blender users so with this said let's dive over to blender 2.91 and talk about all of the beautiful updates and new features that are now here the updates that we have for this week include the grease pencil image trace which i'm going to show you guys what works and what doesn't work so what we're going to do is i have already downloaded you know a black and white image and with this black and white image if you simply select it go over to object go over to this section down here that says trace image to grease pencil you now have an image traced out to grease pencil now this is going to make a lot of sense it's going to help a lot of persons get their artworks get their you know stuff from 2d automatically inside here and from here they can proceed to start making some beautiful stuff so if we press tab right here on the keyboard we can essentially just select several parts and get rid of them delete them and if you're looking forward to maybe working in this mode yes you can so from here onwards you can just simply right click convert this to a polygonal curve to a bezier curve to a path depending on what you want to do you can simply do all of these things here but i also found out that something doesn't work with this at least now so if you also go online or maybe you have a colored image and you drag in that image and go over to object and trace this image you also get a black and white so contrary to what i kind of felt was going to be happening earlier and contrary to what a lot of people may have also felt that maybe once you get this and you convert this for rgb images it only works for black and white images and even if you bring in an rgb image it is also going to convert it to black and white so moving away from the grease pencil let's talk about some updates from pablo so pablo has made a couple of updates within the sculpting section and it's just very beautiful that this update exists so first off we're going to talk about the hdr lock so right now you can lock the rotation for sculpting directly within your sculpt room so if we switch from here and jump over to the sculpt mode if i simply go over to the section that has to do with the shading and i click down here and you know punch up the strength a little bit and maybe increase this and let's just take out that blow so you guys can see this for proper visibility what we have going on here is something pretty simple so at this point you notice as i'm rotating this i'm rotating the entire hdr at the same time but what pablo has done is right now you can simply click right here and you can lock the hdr so once you lock this you can easily rotate across your model you can rotate across your sculpt and the hdr remains static 
But one thing which I've also come to find out is that there is a bit of a flicker once you're also rotating across. Hopefully this might be fixed. I don't know if this is a bug or if it's just something that ships with it, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And while we're still speaking about things that Pablo has also implemented for the sculpting, there is a very beautiful update that has to do with switching. Now you may have noticed that right here, while I'm still within the sculpt room, if I simply hover across any of this object and press D on the keyboard, these are the ones that get some sort of deselected, all right? So right now, one thing that Pablo has also implemented is you can switch between multiple objects. So if you have a model, you have you know, a sculpt that has different pieces, instead of going through the outliner or going back and forth within, you know, your layout or your edit and coming back into the sculpting room. Right now, you can just select multiple objects by tapping D on the keyboard and you can switch this. Now, if you're looking for how you can control these things, it's extremely very easy as how you can control them exists within the overlays. So if you click on the drop down, you can choose to fade the geometry interactively. So you can also bring them all the way up and you can fade them all the way down. So the ones that are in focus or the ones that you're working on at the given point are the ones that you get to see while the other ones stay kind of masked. This is a very nice and lovely feature and I like the fact that it has been implemented in this new version of Blender. There is also updates for the X, Y and Z symmetry. So if you may have noticed, if you download the new version of Blender right now, you would notice that X, Y and Z is not active. Contrary to previous versions of Blender that once you jump over to the sculpt room, you get this thing active. If I simply go over to file, go over to new, hit, you know, general and jump over to the sculpt room, select any brush, you would notice that we have this thing not selected. So with Blender 2.90 here, you would notice if I simply select an object and go over to the sculpt section, that we have the X symmetry turned on. So the beautiful thing with the 2.91 now is you don't get that turned on by default. So if you're working on one particular mesh and you have your X symmetry turned on, only your X symmetry gets turned on. So if we switch over here and we're working on this geometry and we have our X symmetry turned on, only that one stays on. If I jump over to this other one by you know hovering across and tapping D on the keyboard and I set the Y symmetry turned on for this one, Let's go ahead and turn on Y. Let's do that. You notice it turns on right here. So if we switch back, X stays here, Y stays here. I think this is the main reason why, you know, automatically all these things are turned off by default. Now, speaking about things that are turned off, let's talk about some brand new feature that would turn on your animation. And we're talking about nothing more than the Snappier F Core feature that now exists with Blender 2.91. So what we have here is a very simple scene. So what I've done is I went ahead to make a keyframe here and then made another keyframe right here. Automatically by just pressing the playback button or pressing your spacebar, you'd notice that we have a snappy animation going on right there. Now, this is an update that is now existing with the F-Corp and for anyone who is working in animation, you may find this one very useful. If you're trying to compare this with what we have with the previous version of Blender, so let's select this object, copy it and drag out Blender 2.9 here. So I'm paste this. So if we go back and set this all the way to 30, which I presume it was and press the playback button you would notice that it's slightly slow. So it doesn't have that snapping effect that we have with this other one. So if I simply put this side by side so that we can see the both of them. So let's do that. You would notice the same keyframing, but a much more snappier looking animation going on. So right now, if you're working with the F curve, you can now get a much more snappier looking animation. And this is quite beautiful. Now let's take a look at something that you guys may have probably seen and this deals with the shaders. So last week, I guess this was implemented last week and I sort of missed it. So once you're working with any object at all, and let's say for example, you're working with your principal shader, if you simply go all the way to your emissions right here and make a change to that, you would notice that there is a very nice nifty looking button right here. And it is called the emission strength. Previously, you had to wing this, maybe use a vector, a mathematic node to get this one going. 
as this is a feature that doesn't exist with the previous or blender 2.90 but right now you would notice that it's a feature that you can get with blender 2.91 so you can see this is blender 2.90 but you don't get that feature right there but for blender 2.91 you have this feature and you can crank this all the way up and you can start creating some lovely looking renders and combined with the f curve and the beautiful stuff that you have right there you can also create some lovely looking animations with this stuff and speaking about things that have gotten a couple of updates the fluids have gotten a couple of updates over time and there is also some updates to the non-linear animation in detail so if you want to take a look at these ones i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check them out and these are pretty cool stuff that we are seeing coming from the blender foundation into the blender application as a whole something else which i think we should talk about before you guys go is tangent animation so the guys at tangent animation are having an opening so in case you are an animator and maybe you're looking for a role as an intern a render wrangler or maybe a technical director there is an opening for you and you can simply go over to the link in the description and apply for this and a huge shout out to everyone who either spread the message or applied for the jobs as currently there is no open positions and all of the positions are now filled. And these are pretty cool updates that have been happening across Blender Foundation, Blender Community and also Blender as an app. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. Links to all of this is going to be in the description. Links to some other add-ons are also going to be in the description. So you can do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.